What's up guys and welcome to today's video where we are going to be going over the RTX 3080 Ti hash rate and profit. Now this video is going to be a little different from the previous hash rate profitability videos that I've been doing. Mainly I think it's going to be a little bit of a longer video where we'll go through the hash rate specifically. Um, compared to just going through slides and things like that. I just want to test it out, see if you guys prefer this video style better, or you just want to get straight to the point and see what the profit and hash rate of these cards are. The hash rate of these cards without extra commentary added and things like that. You want like a very short video or if you actually want the, the longer style video. So without further ado, we're gonna hop on over to my computer where I'm gonna show you the screen, hash rates and everything like that and we'll dive in and see how the RTX 3080 Ti with its limiter, keep in mind, does compared to other graphics cards. And just a hint, it's not that bad. Here we are uh, back on my desktop and I am on whattomine.com. I've gone ahead and created a custom GPU labeled 3080 Ti on here. Uh, if you have an account with whattomine.com, you can make custom graphics cards. And one of the main reasons to do this is for cards that haven't come out yet, uh, cards they don't have on here, or if you want to add like your whole thing, like if you go in here and you want to make a custom GPU and just call it my farm, whoop, my, my farm, you can add everything in for your farm that way you can see hey is it profitable to switch to this or to that um, I'm mostly doing Ethereum right now minus this 3080 Ti which just kind of does whatever um, anyway as you can see here the hash rates we get about 65 mega hashes for Ethereum not the greatest a 3080 specifically my 3080s get about 100 to 105 um, at less power consumption also. A 3070 and a 3060 Ti get about 60 to 63 at significantly less power consumption. Now where this card comes in handy is algorithms that firstly haven't been nerfed, but more importantly the core focused algorithms, things like Kapow and Kryptonite GPU which has uh, Ryocoin or Ryocoin, R-Y-O, Conceal, and then Ravencoin with Kapow. So as you guys can probably see down here, Ravencoin is the most profitable coin to mine with a 3080 Ti. And it's not really slouching either. You're making about $5.39 pre-power which comes out to be about $161 a month. Now, that's all fine and dandy, except for the problem of ROI and power consumption. If you bought a 3080 Ti for MSRP, and it wasn't uh, an AIB model, because those are even more expensive, so let's say you bought it for $1,200, right? If you take $1,200 and you divide it by $161, like that's, it's going to take a long time to ROI, about seven and a half months. Now, granted, we are in a, like a crypto bear market, as some people want to say. Some people still think we're going to have significant increase, but who, who really knows, right? So we, we just have to do everything based on what we have now because everything in the future changes and we can't base our expectations off of the future because we don't really know. So a good thing to do is to average the last seven days. So right now, what was it saying? A day was making 539. So if we average it out, it's actually about 485. Um, I like to see the current value. Oh, looks like it changed again. We're at 553 now. So like I said, the current values just constantly changes. Right now, uh, a lot of hash rate has left the uh, the net hash here. It's 3.63, .63, uh, 
We've had a dip in net hash rate since crypto crashed, but you can also say the same thing about Ethereum. So you're gaining more coins, but you're not making the same amount of money. You're actually making less money. But if you are a long-term hodler in crypto, this is actually a good thing. You're getting more than you would previously get. Now, if you're not mining as a hobby and mining as a business, this kind of sucks for you, especially if you're trying to pay off your bills every month. Now, if you're trying to do something like that, uh, the 3080 Ti honestly is probably not worth it. You may as well go with like a 3070 um, or a 3060 Ti or even a 3080 if you can get them at good prices. Um, I would much rather have a 3080 or a 3070 than this 3080 Ti. However, that being said, it is not a slouch at mining. It's just the price to get all this hash power is not really worth it. Uh, and the way we can go about comparing it is this is the 3080 Ti here. And I'm going to go ahead and bring over the 3080. I have it here. Let's see. All right. So here's the 3080. And we're going to put these side by side so you guys can see. The price between both the 3080 and the 3090 as far as how much income it makes. So the 3080 makes more money per day in US dollars than the 3080 Ti and costs a decent amount less at MSRP. And that's, I'm going to base everything I go off of on MSRP because scalped prices you can't actually. You can't actually really, you know, base anything because the scalp prices change as they go up and down. And if you can get a 3080 for the cost of a 3080 Ti, was it really worth it? No. Um, but the 3080 Ti might be better once EIP 15, uh, 15. Oh my gosh, I can't even think right now. <laughs> EIP 1559 uh, goes through. Um, just because you'll see ETH hash uh, going down probably um, and the amount of coins you get also going down but uh, that aside the 3080 here making about five dollars 65 cents a day mining ethereum for raven coin on the 3080 ti we're making about five dollars 39 cents a day so they are close in profit However, the 3080 Ti on the left here costs some more. That being said, if we were to compare algorithm to algorithm, for Ravencoin, the 3080 is making 490 and the 3080 Ti is making 539. Um, so it's a whole basically $1.30 more that you're making, which if we pretended Ethereum wasn't a thing, and let's say a flood of miners don't move to Ravencoin, just hypothetically, the 3080 Ti would make you a decent amount more per month. So if we go here to Ravencoin and Ravencoin, and we look at the 3080 versus the 3080 Ti and Ravencoin, it's about $60 more every month, uh, which honestly really adds up. Now, that being said, again, prices, I don't really know if it's worth it because of pricing, um, but if you can get a 3080 Ti and you want to use it for your main computer, it's not that bad, especially if you get one close to MSRP, which I know that's very difficult. Uh, I do have the Founders Edition, so I got a little bit lucky. I kind of wish I got a different one, to be honest, just because of heating, and I think it could mine better had it stayed cooler. Uh, when I mine Ravencoin, the fan cranks up like like no other. But, okay. Aside from Ravencoin, what is the 3080 Ti good at? Crypto Knight, GPU, and Octopus, like I said. So this uh, RYO coin... Um, four dollars and 64 cents a day that is pretty good and even with ethereum it's making about four dollars a day um 
So it's not horrible, right? If you still want to mine Ethereum with it, go for it. It's just not as efficient. And one way to kind of compare it is to bring in a 3070. Let's bring in the 3070 here. And we'll see how much the 3070 makes in comparison to a 3080 Ti. And as you can see, it's pretty close. You're about 40 cents off in Ethereum. And in Ravencoin, is, that's where you're going to see the biggest difference. In Ravencoin, the hash rate is almost double. So you're making 286 on a 3070 versus 539 on a 3080 Ti. So the way I see it, a 3080 and a 3080 Ti is a good hedge for the future. And the reason it's a good hedge for the future is because if Ethereum mining goes away and we have to take all of our rigs and switch them over to Ravencoin, which may be the salvation for miners, we don't really know and we won't know until it happens. But a lot of people have been banking on Ravencoin. Some people have been mining Ravencoin. Um, including myself, uh, already in anticipation that Ravencoin will take over GPU mining. Now, we can only hope, and we'll have to see how things go. And the reason I think the 3080 Ti is actually not horrible, and I wish NVIDIA didn't price it the way they did, it, I heard from sources it was supposed to be $1,000 and not $1,200. And honestly, if it was $1,000, this would be a great graphics card to mine Ravencoin with. Uh, and right now, it's still a good graphics card to mine Ravencoin with. It's just the pricing is so wacky. But uh, here we go. So are you better off buying a 3090 or a 3080 Ti? Well, a 3090 is going to cost more than a 3080 Ti. And... As far as Ravencoin mining, my 3080 Ti has been able to mine more Ravencoin at lower wattage than a 3090. Where the 3090 comes in clutch is Ethereum mining. And the reason that it's so good at Ethereum mining is, well, it has more memory and it doesn't have a limiter on it. So that's basically it. If you want to buy a card, don't buy a 3090. Still, they're still bad at mining. Their only redeeming factor is they're not limited. Uh, but they do eat power like it's nobody's business. And the 3080 Ti kind of has that exact same logic with it. And as I said, if it was up to me, I'd probably buy a 3070 or 3080 just because they're more efficient. The 3080 Ti is the second most least efficient card, the 3090 being the least efficient card. Now, I haven't tested a 3070 Ti, and that's because it's been almost impossible for me to get one. Um, I haven't really seen anybody be able to get them at all, just a handful of people. And it looks like the Founders Edition doesn't even exist, which has put me in a pickle because I really want to try the Founders Edition because MSRPs are real for the Founders Edition, and then I can properly base everything off of. But that's, that's kind of how I feel about everything and the 3080 Ti versus all the other cards like the 36. 70, 3080, the 3070, and the 3090. And I still think that the 3070 and the 3080 are the better cards. I mean, right now, 567 for the 3080 and 340 or 359 for a 3070. I mostly have 3070s, 3060 Ti's. I have a 3080, no, two 3080s, and one 3080 Ti. Um, haven't decided 100% what I want to do with the 3080 Ti. It's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna stick it in a 3070 rig and have it mine Ravencoin separately while my other rigs just continuously mine Ethereum until it's no longer profitable. I have been thinking about the Rio coin um, just because it has potential, but Ravencoin also has some great potential. 
and we'll kind of have to see where everything goes. The market's been kind of wild recently with Bitcoin, Ethereum prices just kind of swinging up and down. You see Bitcoin's at 34 right now. Ethereum's at 1951 right now. Um, so we'll just have to see how the market goes. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. I know it's a little bit different from the last hash rate videos and kind of gets a little long and talky and things like that but i just want to try it out see how you guys feel about it so i would really appreciate if you guys left some comments down below to let me know if you like the longer drawn out videos talking about hash rates and profitabilities versus other cards and things like that and where this card stands up or if you like the older video that just got straight to the point with the numbers um I feel like some people may like that one better and some people may like this one better. I just kind of want to see what you guys prefer and hopefully in the future you'll see more of that because that's what you want. But if you guys found this video helpful, you liked it, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, subscribe if you like to see more of these videos. Uh, if not, don't subscribe. It won't hurt my feelings. Just Give me a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I really appreciate it. And like always, we will catch you guys in the next one.